Hello everyone, my name is Anita and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, we will see how to create a butterfly chart in Tarpoo. So make sure you are watching the video till the end. So let's get started. So here you can see this is how the butterfly chart looks like. So first understand what is butterfly chart. The butterfly chart in Tableau is a kind of bar chart and is used to compare the two measures which is sharing the same dimensions. So here you can see that for making the butterfly chart we will be uh, creating the bar chart or we will be using the bar chart for comparing the two measures. So here you can see on the left hand side you can see female measures are there and the on right hand side male measures is there or the attributes is there. So we are using the butterfly chart for comparing the two measures for for, a, uh, for sharing and with the sharing the same dimensional value. That means you can see here that uh, country name. So these all these are the country name. So this is a single dimension for that single dimension we are comparing the two measures that is male female percentage and the male percentage so this is what butterfly chart and uh, this is actually useful uh, when you are comparing the uh, like uh, gender population uh, like a female uh, female gender population or the male gender population of a particular country so that time this butterfly chart uh, will be useful so now let us understand how to create that butterfly chart. Uh, so for this create for this butterfly chart, I uh, for creating this, I'm using this particular file. Uh, so this this file is having you can see the country name and the adult literacy rate in female percentage and adult literacy rate male percentage. So these three attributes or the uh, we can say the um, Majors, these two are the majors, and these dimensions are there. So, we will be using this particular file for creating the butterfly chart. So, now what I'm doing, I'm opening the new instance of a tableau. So, here you can see this is my uh, tableau. Now, I want to connect with that particular file. So, you can see, and that file is in the Excel form. So, I'm just clicking on the Excel, and you can see the file name is this one, this P18. Clicking on the open. Now, it will it will open that file. Uh, so, you can see here in the data source section, this file is there. It having the three majors, like this uh, three. And now, I'm clicking on the uh, worksheet. So I am clicking on that sheet 1. Now we are in the actual worksheet. So here you can see the country name is the dimension having this globe symbol. So why this globe? Because Tableau understand uh, if this country name is having some field which is having the like, latitude and longitudinal uh, values. So that's why it identifies the dimensions and measures automatically. And the, all these are the measures. This adult female percentage and adult male percentage. And so from here also you can see the male and female. These, these two are the measures and this is one is the dimension. So what I want, I want to uh, like create a butterfly chart. So for that purpose what I do first I am just dragging this country name and pasting onto the row section. After that, dragging this female percentage and pasting onto the column section. Then dragging the male percentage and pasting onto the column section. So now you can see uh, these two bar chart have uh, like uh, created over here. Now what I want, I want to create this particular uh, butterfly chart. That means the first one is in the reverse order so for that purpose what i'll do i'm clicking on the here you can see on uh, this axis okay below the horizontal axis on female percentage i'm right clicking clicking on the edit axis and you can see under general uh, the scale is there so i want this in the reverse form so reverse and again i want to change this title as well so here i want only female percentage and again I am clicking on the, the tick mark section and here I want that major and minor as a none. 
So you can see I have made the three changes. So you can see female percentage. Same I will do with the male percentage. Edit axis and here I want that title as only the male. So you can see male percentage male and again that tick mark section to be none. Oh yeah, so we have changed this, we have uh, done in the reverse and that uh, three changes we have done. Now, what I want, I don't want this um, this header. So what I do, I click on that uh, country name and just uncheck that show header part. So I don't want that header. Yeah, now you can see here I have uh, that uh, remove that header. Now what I want, we want to give the uh, different color to this female section or actually what we want we want uh, to compare this two with the single dimension so that one that means uh, we want the single dimension in the middle section so for that we are creating the new calculated fit so how to create that so click here in this empty section create calculated field so we want to create a zero axis okay and that for that zero axis i am giving the value as a zero apply okay now you can see here that zero axis field is created. Now I want this zero axis in between that female and male. So I'm just dragging that and pasting in between that male and female. Now you can see the in between this female and male the space is created. Okay. Now on this zero axis you can see here in the in the mark section pane in this all on now I am in the all, right? And here you can see the three panes are created. Added, zero axis and uh, that uh, main percentage. So these three are created. Now uh, I want on, on this zero axis, I want the labels, right? So now I am clicking on that zero axis. Now you can see we are in the zero axis. Now whatever we are doing, that is applicable to that zero axis. So I am just dragging that country name and pasting onto the label section. So you can see all the labels are appearing over here. But they are not in a proper uh, uh, order. They are made left uh, on the left. So I want that, that all in the center. So for that purpose, I am clicking here and selecting the text. Now you can see all are in the um, center. So again, I want to play with that uh, form. So clicking on the text. You can see selecting this country name, increasing the font size, making it bold, apply OK. Now you can see the font is changed. OK, so this we have done. Now what I want, I want to give the different color for this female percentage. So I am clicking here, you can see under that all, this female percentage is there. Clicking on that color and giving the different color. So now you can see change the color. Same I am doing for the male percentage as well. Clicking on the color, giving the sub green color. Now you can see I have changed. Now again clicking on the all. Now you can see when I am over in the mouse, here you can see the country name, added literacy rate, and the male literacy rate. So I want uh, like uh, some changes in the tooltip. So what I have done under all, the tooltip is there. So I don't want this extra explanation. I, I just want that country name. So I'm increasing the font size in different color. Okay, country name. Again, only female percentage. I want to show that female percentage. And same, the male percentage. Okay, so I don't want this zero axis as well. So here I'm, I'm checking that include command button. Okay, now you can see when I am over in the mouse, you can see for this Malawi female percentage, male percentage, it is showing. Okay, again, I don't want this zero axis label name. So I am clicking here, clicking on the edit axis. I don't want this title, so removing that title. Again, for that, click, clicking on the none, none section. Now you can see. Again, you can see you can see here some some lines uh, are showing here. So I want to remove that line as well. 
So how to remove again go to that on here on that female anywhere you click a click and go to format. Okay, and under this line section you can see that this line and increasing some size you can see under this table uh, row and sheet row and column these three are there so just take that null okay remove that line uh, again you can see here as well that uh, things are there none yeah now you can see for the sheet tab i have uh, click everything as a none and same we will do for the row section yeah, a row for everything is none. For column as well, I have checked it is none. Okay. Now you can see same we will do for that line section, grid line section, none. For this none. Again, everything to be none. Yeah, column, row section. So here just click everything to be none. Yes. And again one this. So now you can see here that some lines are there that are like uh, now it is uh, we have removed that lines. Okay. Uh, so here again I want to change my sheet name. I'm giving the name as an adult literacy rate. Okay, I want this in a bold form. Apply OK. Now you can see uh, here I have changed the uh, he uh, header as well. Okay, so this is one butterfly chart. But uh, but okay, what I want, I want the chart in this format. Okay, so what I do, I use the concept of dual axis. Okay, so here you can see now. I am I am clicking on that zero axis. You can see here the dual axis is there. So just click on that dual axis. And now in the all section you can see that adult literacy rate. Adult literacy rate is there. So for this click on the bar chart. Again for this male percentage click on the bar chart okay so now you can see uh, that earlier graph is there so here for this the color is different right so this was the color for that first time for this adult apply okay now yeah now it is in uh, in the perfect fashion now you can see my name are here so i want to synchronize my name uh, in the center so for that purpose, what I do, I am clicking here. You can see here, axis is there. So right clicking and clicking on that synchronize axis. Now you can see my uh, labels are in the center. Now I want to uh, change the color of that label. So what I do, I am clicking here in the color section. You can see here for zero axis, orange color is there. So I want to give the white color. Okay, so you can see now that in the white color. So same thing I want to apply for that male person, male section as well. So how to do that? The same, I'm creating the copy of the zero axis. So how to create that? Just click on that zero, press the control key and drag this and paste it over here. Okay. Just a minute. Again, same to do, click on the zero axis, we hold the control key and and then uh, leave that control key okay so this is how we have created the copy of the zero axis now how to, again i want to use the dual axis so here click on that second zero axis click on the dual axis okay now you can see uh, that uh, dual axis comes over here so for that second zero axis what we want we want the name right so i'm just dragging that country name okay country name and pasting onto the label section so now you can see all the labels have come over here again i want all this label in the center format so i'm selecting that text okay again i want to give the different color so clicking on the color edit color you can see 
for that second that male percentage i have previously given that green color and for that zero axis i want the white color okay apply okay now you can see all this in the white color now again i want to synchronize this this so here i'm clicking on this axis and clicking on the synchronize axis so you can see all is synchronized now what we want to do we want to remove this spacing middle spacing right so for that purpose again click on the axis edit axis and here you can see in general the fixed is there okay so i want to start from zero and end as a automatic end okay yeah you can see same as do for this edit axis i'm changing that fix starting at zero and end as an automatic end yeah, you can see now uh, this is done again now i don't want this so i'm just i'm checking that header okay now here from this here you can see entire view and this is what my final butterfly chart now you can see when i am overing the mouse with this so you can see for this particular country suppose malawi so for that malawi that is a single dimension it showing the female percentage as a 51 and the male percentage as a 72 that means for a single dimension you are comparing the two different measures so this is how uh, we can use the butterfly chart. Thank you.